why don't you just declare a new policy that other than children, if you present at the southern border, you claim refugee status, you claim political asylum, and you haven't claimed refugee status and political asylum at the first safe country, then you can't come in. Um, uh, Senator, so first of all, when one presents at the border, it's an asylum claim, not but a refugee. But why don't you do that? Why don't you just claim. unilaterally declare that it, a, a safe third country policy? It would work. You can't come into America. If you're coming from Venezuela and you come through Mexico, if you didn't claim asylum in Mexico, you can't come here. You have to leave. Why don't you just do that? Well, uh, Senator, uh, let me give you an example with respect to Mexico. A safe third country agreement, uh, let's hypothetically you assume. You don't have to have an agreement with Mexico. Yes, you do. No, you don't. I believe you do, Senator. No, you don't. I'll have Other to... countries don't do it. Just adopt a policy that says, except for children, because you don't want to send children back by themselves. Just adopt a new policy that if, if, you, if you didn't seek asylum in the first safe third country, you can't come in, period. Uh, Senator, are you aware of the notice of proposed rulemaking that we issued, the comment period of which closed yesterday? You've which... had two years to adopt a policy like I just described. Why haven't you done it? So, Senator, what we have done is... It, but we why have, have you done, haven't you done that? We have surged enforcement resources. We have well, why haven't developed... you just adopted? Please, if you would, Mr. Secretary, answer my question. It is my understanding. Why haven't you? Why haven't you adopted unilaterally a safe third country policy that would stop, except for children, all the folks from the Northern Triangle countries, all the folks from Venezuela, all the folks from Cuba, all the folks from the Middle East from coming into our country? Why haven't you done that? Uh, Senator, it's my understanding that those – two things. It is my understanding that those agreements do require uh, You the, don't have to have an agreement, agreement with anybody. It can be a policy established by the Department of Homeland and Security. Uh, Senator, uh, I'd have to uh, review the – You legal... haven't reviewed that? You haven't considered hey, that possibility? Let me, let me finish, if I may. Sure. Um, I would have to review the under – uh, the legal underpinnings of your well, assertion. Well, you better get reviewing. And I also You ought to get not, reviewing. You're, this is the first time that's occurred to you. I also do not think that that is sound policy. You don't think that's, that this is the first time that's occurred to you? I also do not think that that is sound policy, that we should shut down our entire asylum system. I didn't say shut down the entire asylum system. I, I, I said safe third country. All you have to do, Mr. Secretary, if you're really serious, and it's beginning, frankly, to appear that you're not, is adopt a policy that says we're not, we're not seeking anyone's agreement. We don't have to. If you're coming from a, another country and you come through, let's say, Mexico, and you say you're, you're, you're seeking asylum, you have to seek it in Mexico or the other first safe third country, or you can't come in. Period. Done. End of story. Why don't you do that? Uh, uh, Senator, um, uh, I don't think that we have the unilateral authority. Sure you do. Other uh, countries number one do and it. Number two, as if I mentioned. If you try sneaking into China. As I've mentioned, I do not think that is sound policy. Why? Uh, because you are basically shutting down our asylum system. No, you're not. You're saying we, we, respect, we honor your right to seek political asylum. But, but you, you're cherry picking. Do it in Mexico first. Why, why have you done that? I've, I, I think I've addressed that issue, Senator. You don't want to do it, Mr. Secretary. That's what it's beginning to look like. Because you think our borders ought to be open. And it would be more intellectually honest if you just say that. That is false. I, I don't agree with you. You have to watch up here what people do, not what they say. And everything else is just cottage cheese. Uh, Senator, I don't think, Thank you, I don't think that 1.4 million people who were expelled or removed last year would consider the border open. Mr. Chairman, you've had, or Mr. Secretary, you've had billion, uh, millions coming into the country illegally. The most of the history of ever under your watch. And everybody knows that, apparently, except you. Either that or you're not being forthcoming with We've also had the largest number 
of individuals expelled or removed from the southern border. And if one takes a look at the apprehension uh, and encounter uh, numbers, uh, and then the removal uh, numbers, one would have a different uh, view. If you do the safe third country policy, that'll solve half of your problem right there. Thank and you, you're Senator. not denying anybody asylum. Thank you, Senator Kennedy.